4K60 on the front camera of the Z Flip 3. Quality is impeccable. It's great. Really like it a lot. 4K60, 4K60 on the rear. Incredible cameras, man. Incredible. Step out into the sun. The Z Flip 3 is just great. Now you can do wide angle in 4K 30. Ten eighty P sixty. Ten eighty P thirty. I can go wide. That's great footage. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So here is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. Uh, this is my uh, black version of this. I'm really excited about it. Um, I've already shown you my Z Fold 3. I've shown you some cases on that. I've done some, some upgrades on that and uh, what, you know, showing you different things. But this device here is the favorite of the two for me. Um, this upgrade that they've done to this device is obviously they added a bigger display on the front here. You can put widgets out here now, uh, and it's uh, intuitive because when something pops up, uh, let me send myself a text message here. So you can see what it looks like when you get a text message or any kind of notification. Um, it's really nice. So hello. It'll pop up on the front of this device here. You can see there it has the message and who it's from. And I think that's really nice. So it's very it's very intuitive now compared to before, and you can actually interact with it. Uh, you can put different widgets and things up front, and I'll, I'll go into that section in just a second and show you what I'm talking about, but this is the highlight of this um, device for a lot of people. Having a new design, having a new feel in hand, the matte black is super crazy nice, no fingerprints, anything on, the, on that body having a nice bigger glass right here and then having the two cameras set up this way. So I've got a bunch of cases incoming for this. So look for those, some skins as well. Uh, but this device is super thin compared to uh, the way it used to be. Um, I've got the facial recognition set up, fingerprint reader and a pen. Uh, so this device is, it, it feels like it's thinner than my original one uh, that I bought, but you know, I'm pretty sure that's just that placebo effect. Uh, but on the back here, you can see how this looks when it's uh, completely open. 
it, it's a beautiful design. It is a beautiful design, and I really like it a lot. You've got a microphone up top. You got your dual camera setup and an LED here. Again, that LED, that LCD right there. Fingerprint reader inside the power button, volume rocker. You know the spill speaker. Two mics down here and whatever. Uh, so, I like this device a lot. The performance on it obviously is going to be what you think it's going to be. It's going to be a fast device because it has got one of the latest processors inside. Uh, and I think that's important to note when it comes to something like this. So now I think one thing I like obviously better is because this device is more catered to regular people and it's a flip phone. Um, it, it is just absolutely beautiful. Back that right there. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful in the way it handles applications. In my Z Fold 3, I had to go into uh, settings and lab and I had to change around a few things just to get applications like Instagram to work right when it shows in this orientation. Uh, but overall, um, the performance on here is with all the apps, it's great. So let's go into settings here and I'm going to show you the cover screen. Uh, this, this is where you go to adjust that outer display. Now, as you can see here, I have it set to just the basic right here, but you have all these different things you can you can do. It's, it's got all these different widgets and things like you can have a worm and all these different animations come through. I'm sure people are gonna be entertained by that. I'm fine with just having it with the plain clock or whatever uh, and doing it like that. But you've got all these different things that you can do. This one is kind of eclectic. I like it's nice and simple is what it is. There's something in there for everyone. Uh, so. You got these different basic styles uh, right here that you could possibly do. That's actually really clean right there. Uh, you can do uh, pictures. Uh, you can you know you can you can do a, a background uh, image on here. You can choose from your gallery or you can choose from your wallpapers. You can see all these different things right here. So let's choose this one so I can have it like that now. That's boss. That's beast mode right there. I, I really like that. You can change it to a purple one or whatever. Let's choose, let's go with the, let's see how this one looks. Now nah, let's go with the other joint. But you can put whatever here. If you, they have one where, as you can see, it's kind of off to the side here like this. That's really nice, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, let's go ahead and go with this one and I can hit, I can change the color as well of the font. That's, that's good. So let's go ahead and just hit done. And then um, you can do, um, the widgets right here. I can reorder the widgets by just sliding them up and down. Uh, and it shows you how to navigate the actual cover display right there by just swiping like you saw me do earlier. You can do the weather, Samsung health, today's schedule, music, next alarm, and timer. Now by default, timer was turned on uh, and weather was turned on, I believe, but I've turned those off. And that is, that is, that's how that works. So now when you see it like this, you can see a quick double tap. And I got that beautiful design on there and I can swipe through. So this cover display right here uh, is kind of one of the main highlights that has gotten people back to the uh, Z Flip 3 and probably liking the Z Flip 3 more. Listen, we know about flex mode and all this stuff right here. We know about having being able to use it like this when you insert in certain applications um you can have it to where when you when you open it up see how it spreads down and it gets the bigger joint right there we know about this right here the flex mode is crazy yeah this is nice uh but so we know all the different positions it's just good video chat everything is there it's really nice uh more importantly the form factor on here is really nice even when you don't have a case on it and then when you put a case on it it's gonna just be nice it's gonna be nice uh, I respect to everybody whose colors that they bought. This phone comes in multiple colors depending on uh, which model you get. So um, I, I personally like, yes, I know, I know. I personally like the matte black all day long. I think the matte black is nice. Now, as far as battery life goes, it's decent right now. In the first 24 hours, it's, it's okay. It's, it's not, because, uh, you know, in the first 24 hours of getting a device, you're not really focused on... Um, uh, battery life you're just hammering it down and you're getting a bunch of stuff done you're getting it set up and you're just really enjoying that first time getting everything done so after that I'll be able to give you a battery life follow-up in about a week or so whenever I do my one week review I'll give you a battery life update because right now the battery isn't looking too good but again I'm still within that first 24 hour period so let's go down to battery uh, and show you here 
here's battery as you can see here I'm going on 22 hours and I've got two and a half hours of screen on time now technically I've been off the charger uh, for a longer time than I have on my Z Fold on, on that first 24 hours when I rolled up on that one when it got kind of low so this one is actually doing better than my Z Fold uh, but um, I want to go to display here because I haven't made any adjustments to the display and I still have the 120 Hertz on and if I change it to 60 Hertz I could possibly get big better battery but you know I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do yet because I'm still feeling it out you know what I mean so um, the, the 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 Z Flip 3 folks uh, is still expensive but it's 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 more manageable to a lot of people on their monthly bill if they decide to finance it and even if they decide to pay for it outright this is better than paying fifteen hundred dollars and you're actually getting the newer processor you're getting everything that's up to the current standards of what a smartphone should be so you know my my first impressions on this is is that I, I like it man and, and this is gonna be an easy daily driver next to my pixel 6 uh, uh my pixel my pixel 6 oops uh my pixel 5a 5g for now um this is gonna be a, a, a easy daily driver easy easy daily driver and we open it up next to the pixel 5a 5g you can see uh the display here Let me wipe it off a little bit get yourself a good microfiber cloth don't skimp on it Pay that 10 15 dollars if you have to get a really good one but this is the size this is what they're looking at as far as what they post what they look like next to each other i have posted a picture of these two next to each other open and close on my social media already so if you haven't checked that out go ahead and do so but uh, um yeah this these two are easy to rock together my z fold 3 not so much um yeah the z fold 3 right now for me i won't spoil it on there but you know what I mean? It's, this is my combination right here that I'm I'm loving right now, uh, especially my 5A. Uh, man, this is nice, and I can't wait to show the Pixel 6 and all the new joints coming. But, um, man, this is a stellar combination right here. I'm happy uh, that I picked up this in black, and I'm just happy that I was able to even get mine in stock because there's a lot of people out there, they don't even have theirs yet. You know, they're still trying to get there. Shout out to my man, Grant S., they're doing him the way they did me. Uh, mine sat on the truck around the corner from me for four days. Samsung held mine for four days around the corner from my house. Uh, so that was kind of, I was kind of perturbed about that, but what could I do? You know what I mean? So they won't let you pick it up because it says delivery only. They wouldn't let me go in and sign for it. So I said, well, I'm moving on. I got a Pixel 5a, 5G, and I've got all these other phones. So I was okay. I was. Chill. I thought it was kind of comical at best the way they did us with this launch of these devices. But nonetheless, I'm excited, and I hope you guys are excited. So, um, uh, thank you guys for joining me for my first impressions. This is my first impressions in the box. I'm not tripping on them. Not putting the charger in there. I don't care. I mean, I bought it knowing that, so it's no use of complaining about it because they're not going to do anything. It's not going to send me a charger. But I do have. $200 in credits and I'm not buying no charger. I've got cases the three setup wireless charger. I might grab I don't know. I'm still debating on how I want to use my credits because I can use my credits after the fact so um, Yeah, it, it's I'm, I'm, I'm happy. So you'll see what else is coming with this um, Follow me on Amazon live if you haven't already done so if you don't know how to follow me on Amazon live uh, Just hit my my Twitter or my community tab on YouTube and you'll see a link on there just Follow that uh, previously recorded video that was it was live previously live video and hit follow up there on the top left of that video and you'll be able to catch me live on Amazon because I will be on Amazon live more than YouTube uh, in uh, coming starting starting out uh, like a week or two ago. So it's your man Jay. First impressions of the Z Flip 3 5G. If you don't have one of these, I mean, get one. <laughs> I don't know, try it out. I don't know. I love it though, and I think a lot of people uh, even before the launch. I knew that I was going to like this one better just based on the way it looked like the way this phone looks super flex mode to me. I love it. So it's your man Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.